This is the Ansel FX 3000 ODB C scanner. This is the two. You see what comes in the box. You got the manual, which is like 20 pages long. You got a quick start guide to tell you all the buttons, how to get started. It does have a little SD mini card reader. It's got your data link cable. It's got a micro USB cable to connect to your computer. This one connects to your car. And then you got the scanner itself. You see, it's kind of nice. It's got a nice little holder here. It's kind of got this harder rubberized plastic around the sides and the buttons. There's where your micro USB cable goes. Inside this here, it does come with a 64 gig SD micro card. It's a sand disk. It's pretty nice. That's what you're going to use to run the software and record your data that you're scanning for. So it's pretty nice. It's not real heavy, but it's decent. So you can, I've already upgraded this, which took 10 minutes. So you can see it's booting up. I got plugged into my laptop, so it has power. So it's pretty simple. Like I said, you got only a couple buttons on here. This is basically enter or okay, and this is return or go backwards. And then you go up and down. So if you want to move over, go to settings, hit the okay button. You can go down in record mode. You can change this so the beeper is on or off with your, when you're pushing the buttons here. It's got a whole bunch of different languages. You see it's got eight different languages. You can go to help. You are going to, well, you don't really need it. When I did the upgrade, it asked for it, but it brought it in because I had it plugged in. Under tool information here, it wants this register code, which it brings in on its own if you got it plugged in. So I didn't really have to do anything. You do have to create an account when you go to their website. It's free. And then it brings up a screen. You can pick which cars you want to download and update. I did all the English ones because they have multiple languages. And like I said, it was a lot of data, but it took like 10 minutes. You can go into diagnosis here. You got different scans you can do. You can reset things. So you got your ABS, your BMS, your brakes, oil, SAS, a little everything. It doesn't cover all your cars, so you do have to pick and choose. Make sure you get the right one for you. Like I said, you can pick the different cars you got. I think it does like 35 different cars. You can review your stuff. Once it's plugged in, you can you can get this different data. It's pretty sweet. I like it. If you're looking for something, this one's going to work. It's in my car now. Gonna scan it. Just gotta find the different cars. See all the cars it's got just for one. There we go. I do not have the turbo. Okay, gotta start the car. I should know that.
So you want to check whatever you want to check out, just pick it. There's the info on it. You can read it. You can clear it.